6.39 is the time. At least 80 people have died in Indiana so far this flu season due to the virus or complications from it. And this month has by far been the worst month for the flu in Indiana. We talk a lot about the young or the very old being the most at risk, but those are not all of the deaths. Those aren't all the stories. Nina Criscola joins us now this morning with a, with a very difficult story. A 37-year-old mom from Plainfield passed away. Yeah, just this week, actually Monday after starting to feel sick last Friday, she's one of at least 50 flu-related deaths in Indiana just this month. According to the State Department of Health, 9 out of 10 of those people are over 50 years old, but others like Carly Slavin are middle-aged. Carly, an active working mom of two with a husband who was away serving the National Guard Reserve. Here's a photo the family shared with us. They say the flu hit the family last month and then spread from one member to the next. She uh, um, took care of all of them. She got tired. She got run down. Uh, they all got over it fairly readily. They didn't have a problem. Three of the four of them got sick. Three of the four of them had their shots. The only one that died was my little girl who didn't get her shot. That was Carly's father, Carl Ilg. He says his daughter got sick Friday, went to the emergency room, but was released. She then went back Sunday after developing pneumonia, but it was too late. Ilg is now advocating for everyone to get their flu shot. He believes if his daughter had gotten a flu shot, she might have still contracted the virus, but may have had the antibodies to fight it better. The Department of Health officials say flu season still has not even peaked. They advise anyone with flu symptoms to at least notify your health care provider and keep them updated on your symptoms. Remarkable. The family is strong enough already to talk about this. Really and the 